Welcome back. Kelly, pumpkin season is officially here, and fall flavored drinks are everywhere now. Here to show us how to make a delicious pumpkin coffee drink at home is Feel Good Foodie, Yumna Jawad. Nice to have you back from that. Thank you so much. It's so good to be back. It's so great to see you. So, this um, is the full speed version we're doing first, right? Yes, exactly. I feel like if you're going to have a treat like this, you have it. Yes, you that's how I feel I, as well. I, I like to substitute. Well, you have issues. <laughs> well, I, I, I well, think you can do good substitutes, which we'll do yeah. in a minute. I exactly. Think, right? I okay. think the good thing is today, we're going to actually show you guys a couple different versions of this recipe. So you can have it super indulgent. You can kind of have it like midway, which is what I like to do. And then you can have it vegan, lighter, sugar-free substitute, all kinds of different ways. Okay. Let's so do it. we're making mm. pumpkin cream cold brew today. Mm. And this is all the rage right now at coffee shops. Like first it was pumpkin spice lattes, and now it's pumpkin cream cold brew. Oh. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to take some heavy cream. Yes. And we're going to put about, you can do four, six, or eight ounces, depending on how much you want to make. So we'll start with about... I, I don't know either, so you do mine. Uh, Jeez, can you see uh, it? Uh, it four, six, or eight. Okay. Okay. Measure that to measure it to like, like six ounces. Oh, there you go. Okay. And then what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to make the pumpkin cream. So to this, we're going to add... Yeah. Okay. You got it. Sorry. It's kind of hard to see the lines too. It's like I know we can't see at all. So for measuring. Okay. okay. Sorry. All right. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add pumpkin puree. Mm. So this that right here is the stuff lot. you'd find in a can. It's pure pumpkin. Yeah. It's not the pumpkin pie filling because it has sugars yes. and mm. spices. We don't want that. We just want pure pumpkin. And sure. you can put as much or as little as you want. And I tell my kids, this is your vegetable intake for the day. Oh, the, you <laughs> know what? That does count, right? Doesn't you know? it? Makes myself feel good about yeah. it. All right, and next we're gonna add, this is some maple syrup. You can add as much or as little as you want. I'm just gonna I do think, a dash. Yeah, do a little dash. Okay. So you can put a little bit in there. Well. I won't overdo it with the maple. A little dash will oh. do ya. <laughs> okay. That's what my husband says. All right, and then we're gonna do some pumpkin spice right here. So if you don't have pumpkin spice, I mean, it's all over the grocery stores right now, but if you don't have it, you can do a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, and a little bit of ginger. Mm. Okay. Kind of nice. like okay. Those are the pumpkin spices. And do we basically. shake or stir? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can do a little bit of both. Why don't we try to shake it right shake now? Shake it now. Okay. Basically, we're making whipped cream, <clears throat> and we're just going to Wouldn't it be amazing if James Bond did this? <laughs> <laughs> like, right? How would you like? It's like... How would, how would you like your pumpkin <laughs> cream brew? We're just going to shake it up. I'd like it shaken in a mason jar. We're just going to shake it up. And, and creamy. So, so this is also our arm workout for today. We it can really tell Anderson is. we got we got a yeah, workout. Exactly. <laughs> Did Tom Cruise make one of these in the movie? Just keep going around. So by doing it by hand, it's probably going to take a good minute oh. to do this. Um, you can also do it by a frother. Actually, Ryan, you were saying you travel with your French press. You I do. You can actually do it to the French press. <laughs> I Just kind of push it down a couple times. Really? Yeah. I didn't know He's that. so actually, fancy. Yeah. <laughs> no, because the coffee in hotels sometimes where I have to do idle auditions is not so strong. Oh. All right. So. <laughs> We're gonna shake it up. I all like right, those so, little Mr. Coffee. So now, machines. all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make our pumpkin cream cold brew. So we have a tall glass of ice. Okay. And we're gonna add to it some cold brew. Oh, okay. And just leave a little bit of room on top and we'll put some of this creamer up there. All right. Oh, that looks good. Mr. And cold. now, oh, okay. see how thick okay. it is? I think it should be pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and add oh, some on top. Oh, it smells like the holidays. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? it's the best. Now pour it in? Oh, yes, and pour as much or as little as you want. You can is also there an art spoon. to the pouring or just go just for it? Just kind of like, feel like your best barista okay. self. Gentle. You know? All right, we'll pour this and we come back. Another way to make one of these, Kelly. Oh after my the break. gosh, that's gorgeous. So All right, yeah. you know, we're back to make the this lighter version. So we yes. put the pumpkin in first. All right, so we're going to do the same drill again. We're going to add the pumpkin puree, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of spices. And then we've got three different options here. The half and half is basically half creamer, half milk. So you can use that if you wanted something indulgent, but a little lighter. Okay. We've got um, coconut, which coconut is for you. vegan. Thank you. And then we also got oat milk. I so, like the oat. Yeah, pick whatever you want. Do up Pour to eight it. ounces. And then we're going to use the frother as oh. a second option. Ooh. I travel with this, Kelly. So fun. Okay. So I'm going to take the frother. It's a different one I Every have. time. And you can also do this in, bl in a blender. You can do it with a little whisk. Oh, the yes. so fun. I love these in. little frothers. Yes. Yeah, you so put just... it down inside, otherwise it'll splash. Yes. And now, same thing, same thing again. We're going to do some ice, some cold brew, and we'll add as much of this as you want. Mm. You know, I feel like it's not as much exercise this way as <laughs> the not, handshake. We lost a good, like, 20 calories with the last one. You're right. Exactly. <laughs> we worked it all off. So for the pumpkin recipes, you can go to kellyandryan.com. Mm. All fun stuff. And you can have this any time of the year, too. Absolutely. You don't have to yeah. Absolutely. Why, yes. have we, why have we right? married ourselves yeah, to this Yeah, that and fun do yeah. can be had all year. year round. Yeah. Callum Scott performs next on Live. <laughs> 
If you would like to try today's recipe or want more info on anything you've seen on live, just log on to our website at kellyandryan.com.